Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's hearing of the City Council Transportation Committee. I am Danny Rodriguez, the chair of this committee. Before we proceed, I would like to recognize my colleagues who are here with us. First of all, Councilmember Mario, whose bill is going to be boarding today. Councilmember Cabrera, Constantinides, Ku, Levin, Levin, Menchaca, Ross, and Diaz. Today we will vote on proposed intro 210-B, sponsored by Council Member Mario. I also would like to add my name to the bill, which would give property owners more time to make repairs when they receive sidewalk violations from DOT. While maintaining the sidewalk is an important responsibility of being a homeowner in New York City, it is also a costly and time-consuming responsibility. Giving homeowners more time to comply with orders from DOT to repair their sidewalks is a common sense change that will benefit the New York New Yorkers throughout the city. I now invite Council Member Mario to deliver an opening statement on his legislation. Thank you, Chair Rodriguez. I appreciate it. Thank you for holding the hearing, supporting the bill. Um, as with most of the bills I introduce, Intro 210B is the result of my office's work to solve problems for our constituents. In this case, the problem is that homeowners who have been issued violations by the Department of Transportation for a detective or otherwise unsafe sidewalk do not have enough time to correct the condition. Under current city law, if a property is cited for damaged sidewalks, the owner has 45 days to complete repairs or the city will impose a lien on the property. This is both unfair and impractical for several reasons. Even under the best of circumstances, 45 days is not enough time to get quotes from contractors, compare prices, and to schedule and complete repair work. And no work can be done during the cold months and inclement weather, which this year extended from November through one of the harshest early springs we have had experienced. This problem is exacerbated even further if the homeowner does not have money to make the repairs readily available, which is a reality for so many families or seniors on fixed incomes. Thus, property owners who in good faith actually want to fix their sidewalks are often hit with liens, which place undue restrictions on their properties and can adversely affect their credit. Intro 210B, which would almost double the amount of time homeowners would have to correct an unsafe sidewalk condition before a lien is imposed from 45 days to a more reasonable 75 days. While I wanted to provide more time, I believe this bill strikes the appropriate balance between homeowners' needs and the administration's concerns and is fairer, more practical, and less punitive than the current law. I urge all of you to vote in favor of the legislation today. Thank you. Thank you. And before uh, moving on the vote, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Council Member Spinar and also thanks my, the staff of this committee, Malak, uh, Jonathan, Emily, Chima, Joan, John, and also thanks to Evelyn and, and Stephanie from my office. Uh, I now call for a vote on proposed intro 210-B. I recommend a yes vote, and I ask the, co the committee clerk to please call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, Committee on Transportation. Chair Rodriguez. Aye. Cabrera. Aye. Constantinides. Aye, and if you can please add me as a co-sponsor of the bill. Thank you. Espinal. Aye. Ku. I also want to congratulate uh, Minority Leader Matthew for introducing the bill. Thank you. Levin. Aye. Levine. Menchaca. Actually, I Aye. didn't vote yet. <laughs> I was just going to say that so far, I'm here. I'm here, Billy. Thank you. Excuse me. Governor um, Levine. So far, every single hearing I've been in today has had a bill authored by Minority Leader Matteo. And uh, I'm going to continue the streak and vote aye on this one, too. Menchaca. Aye. Rose. I am please add me to the bill. Diaz. Permission to explain my vote. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I just want to congratulate the sponsor of this 
magnificent piece of legislation. Uh, it's time that the homeowners, the property owner, get relief. Another bad thing that's happening is that, that I've seen is that the city also owns uh, sidewalks and they give ticket and made the, the, the homeowners of private property, pro, private property fix that property, but the city don't fix the, the, its sidewalk. So maybe we could do something to, to impose on the city also to fix also the sidewalk because it is nice to impose a sanction on, prop, on, on homeowners to fix their sidewalk, but next to that sidewalk, there's a city a sidewalk that is broken and nobody does anything. So congratulations and thank you for this piece of legislation. I vote yes. <laughs> I vote of 10 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Item is adopted by the committee. Thank you, and we will leave the vote open, but I would like to take advantage and take this opportunity also to invite New Yorkers to, make, to keep uh, informed about the next hearing that we will have in June on parking, where we will be hearing the bills related to create a residential parking bill in the city of New York. We also hear the bill related to provide members of the press a permit, a, 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 a right to have a, a placard, a press, a, to have an opportunity to park the car as they doing the job. And all the bills related to, to parking from Council Member Moya, Council Member Levine, as also we have many bills related to parking. So they, they, we will have two hearings in June. We're working on the day. One is going to be about parking, and the second is going to be about the, the, the closing of the L train and how they, we are working together, the city and MTA, to provide the services necessary. So with that, we will leave the vote open. <laughs>